talking about motivation and uh, accountability. This goes, you know, hand in hand with what we've been talking about the past couple of weeks, it being the summertime. Obviously, it's, uh, it's easy to get a little distracted and lose your motivation and accountability, but um, we're here to help you guys stay on, on the right path and, you know, be consistent in your daily efforts and weekly efforts. So with that being said, I was hoping my uncle and, and grandfather could share some of their their knowledge that they've learned over the years through the Mike Ferry system and, and kind of talk about um, some of the stuff even Donna Fleetwood shared with us, you know, as to finding your why, why you operate in this industry, why you get up and do the things you do on a daily basis, and what gives you motivation to not only work, but be successful. And maybe it's, you know, to learn something each and every day. Um, with that being said, Poppy, you want to kick it off for us? Sure. Um, being, going back to what you just said, Brooks, uh, <clears throat> there are Simon Sinek put out a video called What's Your Why? And that video, I suggest everybody look it up and, and hear it. Brent, I know that uh, when we uh, bought your company, um, <clears throat> we played that video. And I know that motivated a lot of people within um, John Lighty's company to, to come with us. And, uh, you know, it, it's a great video. The other thing that is ultimately important is that all of us have a passion for this business. Um, be your passion to, to build a better life for your family, be your passion to, to have things, a new house, a new boat, a new car, whatever it is, you've got to be ultra passionate about what you're doing. When that is the case, success follows you. It can't help. It, and it's small increments. It's never a big, big jump all at once. It's one step at a time. And if you remember that process, you won't lose your motivation because you're always looking forward to something that's up here. Um, and, and please, while you're doing that, become a passionate learner, not only about real estate, but about everything in life. When you start and have the desire to become better within yourself, your whole life changes around. It makes you a better person, it's better for your family, and it's certainly better for our business. Tim, do you want to add to that? Uh, Poppy, I actually hear him um, oh, okay. on another line. So Not a problem. Um, why don't we, uh, we jump down to maybe Stacy Malai. Do you mind sharing with us, you know, what kind of got you into the business? What's your why and motivation to do what you do? Um, mine was twofold, actually. I got into the business because um, I was in an industry that was like crumbling. I was a HR manager for Fuji Film, and of course, analog film was starting to go away. And um, so, I took a hiatus from corporate world and I went nonprofit. And so, working nonprofit. I realized that it was really exactly like being an entrepreneur. <laughs> like I had no money and I had to find the money and make the sales. And so um, when I realized that I could not catapult this nonprofit to the next level of where they wanted it to go, I started looking for something else for me. And so um, being my own boss, having my own schedule and being able to raise my girls because they were still little at the time is why real estate started um, for me. Now, since that point, and my kids have gotten older, um, I've had this switch, like growth, I guess. And now for me, it is still enjoying the, my, I make my schedule and I run my business and, and I do all of those things. But for me, it's now about trying to empower other women who are trying to do the exact same thing that I was doing 10 and 15 years ago to provide something for their family outside of their husband, or maybe they don't have a husband. 
Um, so that has switched my motivation. And so it's why my team is all women. Um, I'm in an investor group and it is only for women. It's called the invest her like H E R. And my team of, of ladies is across the country. I met with them last night and I, the farthest one, I have Boise, Idaho and California are on my team. So, um, I learned from those women and I hope to infuse that into this group in this office. That is awesome. Yeah. That is, uh, that's definitely a great uh, source of motivation and a, a noble way of doing things. Um, Uncle Tim, I see you're, you're visible here now. Um, we're talking about, you know, how we get our motivation, what's our why, and we're going around and, and talking about what gives us our daily motivation and why we get up and do things the way we do. And I know Poppy talked about Simon Sinek in the, the why video, which I can send out to everybody to watch. Um, another thing that probably motivated me a lot was the book, Think and Grow Rich and having the burning desire to succeed. And, uh, you know, when you wake up every morning with that burning desire to succeed, it's what makes you go to the office or walk into your office in your house and, and make those phone calls because we know, and everybody knows that contacts equal contracts. And if you get on the phone and you start talking to people, things start happening in your life. But uh, you've got to wake up every morning and have that burning desire to succeed. And I got that through the book, Think and Grow Rich. Great. Um, you know, another great way to, you know, keep that burning desire going is, you know, Poppy, gets up every day and, and writes down all his affirmations. That's something that, you know, I took uh, notice to very early getting into the business and I started doing the same and uh, would definitely strongly suggest that to everyone else to do. Um, get a list of five to 10 and write down, you know, exactly why you, you are in the business, why you want to serve people and uh, it helps you know, keep that burning desire going. Yeah. Um, I think yeah. Real quick, real quick do you, sorry, Tim, go ahead. Go ahead. Do you, when you say you write five um, affirmations down in the morning, are you rewriting the same five because those are the ones that you're focusing on? Yes. Yes. I yes. Am. Okay. Um, the, the reason for that is they're, they are my main goals of life. They were my main goals when I started studying under my theory. Um, you know, I am making my contact goal. That's one of my affirmations. Every day I still do that affirmation, even though I'm not in the business of listing and selling so much anymore and in the business of management, I have a contact goal to make every day. If I, you all receive a call from me, I'm, you know, every, every week and every month, I have accountability to certain people. You have to have that accountability if you want to succeed in this business. It's got to be a desire from within you to help somebody else. When you feel that way about your business and your life, you can't help but succeed. My next affirmation was, I am getting an appointment. The reason I do that in today's market is there's certain people that we need to recruit to be in our business. As a result, it's a goal that I have to make. We have to replenish the people that leave out of business and go to other companies or just retire. In doing so, we only have a specific amount of spaces. Tim and I a long time ago said, we don't need to be the biggest, but we certainly need to be the best. And I think we fulfilled that very, very well. And then my third affirmation is one that I learned from Mike Ferry and it keeps me in my mind control 
and, and wanting to succeed. And it's, I'm determined, I'm fearless, I'm powerful, I'm unstoppable. Uh, we used to stand up and say that at the meetings and then they would say, go pick up the phone. I just feel as though it's something that revs me up every day to continue me making the beliefs that I hold dear so that the most important thing in, in my life is my family. So I need to fulfill that obligation and that helps me fulfill it. Um, my next affirmation is I'm the master of my fate the captain of my soul. That says everything about your life. You, you don't need to make excuses when you say that to yourself. Excuses are only baloney. They make you feel good. They give nothing to the other person. So you really need to think about that when you're doing your affirmation. And then my last affirmation is always 100% of a commitment equates success. And they have helped me tremendously. From, and, you know, I'm not proud of it, but I was broke twice. And I've come back and it's because of what we're talking about and sharing today. So I would implore every one of you to to try to do that. So one of the things that Poppy said there about excuses, we learned a couple things that were pretty important from Mike Ferry. One was excuses only satisfy the person giving them. So excuses only satisfy the person giving them. The other thing that I learned from Mike was that if you played athletics when you were growing up, this business is just like a game. Every day, it's a new game. So every day you wake up and you go to work, you're at zero and it's a new game. And you have to decide whether or not you're going to win the game or you're going to lose the game. Are you going to do what you need to do to be successful and have all your dreams come true? Or are you going to lose the game today and give up and not make those calls? So the fact that if you can think about it as a new game every day, sometimes that helps you um, do what you need to do to be successful. You know, I have often told a story about my father and I sitting in a Mike Ferry seminar and there was a brand new black on black SL 500 convertible sports car sitting on the stage. And on Friday at the end of the seminar, they were going to give that car away. And all week long, I looked at that car on stage and I wanted it. Oh my God, I wanted it. I wanted to win it. I wanted to drive it home. I was so excited. That's all I could think about was that car. And um, then I realized by the end of the seminar that I could have that car. I don't have to win that car. And, you know, so if you do what you're supposed to do, and you pick up the phone and you make the calls you're supposed to make each and every day, you can have anything you want, just like I wanted that car. If I wanted that Mercedes, I could have it. But in order to have it, I got to wake up and play the game every day. So that's the kind of stuff that I've gotten through motivation over the years. Sure. And, and you continue, it, it's not just picking up the phone and calling. We all have ability. The ability of networking is a great asset to, to yourself if, if you're in this business. If you have that ability, uh, Stacy, with what you said about sharing and the people over the country, that's networking. Somewhere along the line, somebody is going to say, she's a nice person. I'm gonna. I'm going to call her and tell her about my friend that's moving to her area. That's networking. Uh, networking of going into uh, um, some of these organizations, the, the, the Chamber of Commerce, the one. Um, are you involved in that? Are you involved in your community? Are you helping in any respect at all so that you become noticed? Not for being a realtor, 
but being a help to the community, which in turn will silently say, hey, she's a good person or he's a good person. I'll work with them because they're helping all of us. That's what this whole business is about. So I would, I would encourage networking along with your prospecting. It's a necessary item. I have really good success with, um, aside from being part of the chamber and the activities that happen there, um, I am involved in Rotary and Rotary has been an amazing Another group. group. And so I would encourage anyone in the, in the Harrisburg area, you know, and beyond to get involved with your local Rotary because those fingers um, filter out through all the different communities that they know, so. How about anybody else? Come on. We all have our little ideas that we use. So share them with us. That's what this is all about. The more we share, the, the bigger our business gets. What keeps, hey. what keeps yeah. Bob Stevens motivated? Bob, you're 80 some years old. You get up every day. You're sitting in the office right now. You love to go to work. What motivates you every day? What do you do it for? Kind of interesting. Uh, when you guys recruited me about 14 years ago, I told you I was going to retire, and mm -hmm. it would be within a year or two. And uh, the only reason I'm still here is because this company is a company that I've never worked uh, had the likes of working for before. Uh, it's genuine. Uh, it's honest. Uh, the staff is fantastic. And I just enjoy coming to work. Well, thank you. Yeah, I think you had something to say. You know, I think that it's very important to inspire hope to people that, you know, we have a lot of people that in this business, they'll contact us for reasons, maybe someone's ill or financial issues or divorce, what have you. And I think that it's very important to put a positive spin to let them know that there is hope and that we're, you know, we're somebody that can help them, um, not just, you know, they're not just another transaction. So I am building a group and a team that really does believe in inspiring other people and taking the business to another level. It's so much more than just a transaction. Amen to that. So that's what motivates you. It is absolutely yeah. to uh, to kind of piggyback on Bob Stevens there. I mean, we've hit very, very well on the motivation piece. Um, you know, the second part of it's definitely the accountability. And that's what we as a company try to be there for for you guys with is, um, you know, to help you not only with your motivation, but to keep it going for you. So you know, I would uh, encourage you guys, you know, reach out to my uncle, my grandfather, myself, let us know what your goals are, what your motivation is, and we'll help you stay motivated throughout the year. Um, you know, whether it's in the fall when you're doing your business plan, send us your business plan, give us your goals that, that you have for this year. Let us know what, what you're trying to accomplish, and we're here to help you meet those goals. Absolutely. Also, with calling you know, Collins has been a, a tremendous help with our uh, training of our new agents, bringing them on. He's doing a yeoman's job with uh, the two young guys that we have in Jim Penny and Tim Tegorcio. We, uh, you know, couldn't be more proud. And Mike, um, you know, so we have a lot of things going and the people that we are trying to train right now and, and be with, we're going to make them the best. We're not, we're not one of these companies that, that says, here's a book, here's a phone, lots of luck, you're on your own. That's not going to happen here. Uh, we, will, we will not. And when we bring somebody on, they will succeed unless they're, you know, we totally misjudged it. We're not going to allow them to fail. And we're not going to allow any of you to fail if you have the desire to be come better. So Paul, Paul and Sue, how do you guys keep each other accountable? You work together every day. How do you keep each other accountable? Uh, 
Okay, so <clears throat> she's the numbers person and I'm the people person and we, we feed off each other. Um, we, we really, really, especially now, Tim, we have to kind of push each other because we know, you know, um, to some extent, new builds, uh, while they have their share of problems, um, they're kind of an easy way to get your buyers and your sellers, et cetera. So now we have to really push ourselves to do the things we know we need to do, but it's a whole different, different um, venue that we need. So we, we try to get each other to say, come on, we have to do this. We have to do this now and still work with our new builds, but we have, it's a different big picture. Good. Yeah, like she said. <laughs> so I'll give you another um, thing on accountability. So Brent, if you can unmute. You're yeah. training you're training Andrew right now, right? So training Andrew, just like Kong was training Tim and Mike and, and Jim, does, don't you think that that accountability is there now for you? Because you can't tell him to do these things and not do it yourself. So okay. you, you, you have to live the part in order to get him to play the part, right? Yes. So do you think that that's holding you more accountable and your feet to the fire to help grow? 100% correct. Um, you know, it, it, it puts yourself in check and, and realigned myself just because of that fact. Um, so and, and it, it's a good thing, you know, that, that it's going to benefit. Uh, it's a win-win situation, win-win for him and a win for me, which then again is a win-win for the company. So. Good. And it's a great way to feel <clears throat> whenever you can lead by example and show people that you're not just blowing smoke. What you're really doing is setting the example for it. It's, it's, it's a military way of doing things without being military. You, you know, if you show somebody the path by getting up and getting to your company in the morning and getting your busy work done and then being able to do your real work, that's what this whole life is about because uh, you take pride in what you're doing instead of just going through the motions. Um, I, I, I don't want to get started, but I, I will say, we're not a government or we're not a state organization. We don't come in here and just go through the motions. We're very proud of what we do every day and the benefit we have to give to the public. So kudos to all of you for that. Does anyone else like to share something with us? No. That's all I have, Brooks. Anything else you have? Yeah, no, I think uh, we had a great gym. Yeah, I see your hand going up. Yep. Two hands yeah, I, going up. I, I just thought I'd say something and just positive overall that, um, you know, I worked for 23 years in uh, employee benefits uh, and insurance. And the reason I came here was I lost uh, my job about a year and a half ago because our company was downsizing. You know, the owner was retiring and uh, it wasn't my own fault. It was just the nature of the business was kind of going away. But, uh, you know, I struggled for a while to try to find a direction. You know, I spent about six months putting out applications. I considered state jobs. I considered um, different things. And honestly, I was a little reluctant to do this because at the beginning of my career, 23 years ago, I went to work for uh, Northwestern Mutual Life. I worked for them for about six months. It was an all commission thing. And I think I made about $1,500 in six months. But I just wanna say that given all of that, you know, after uh, being here a year and a half, uh, I know I made the right decision. This is just a wonderful group of people to work with. 
Everybody is very supportive. Kong's great, Gene's great, Tim's great, Brooke's great. Everybody's great. And uh, I just want to say I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. Yeah. Mr. Dave, go ahead. Yeah, I, I just wanted to say this. Um, you know, I've been around for a while. I've been in the business for a while. Um, uh, I, uh, well, not to go into everything, but uh, I was even a manager for a while for an office with uh, Jack Gaughan. But I will tell you this, that uh, once I was uh, uh, exposed to the Mike Ferry program and exposed uh, to actually do some, you know, get some coaching, and the accountability aspect has been uh, very helpful for me to uh, stay accountable to my coach, to stay accountable to you, Eugene and you, Tim. And uh, I, I appreciate all that you guys do to help support and uh, me through this whole process. And I think that I've, I believe that I've made more progress within the last two years than the years before. So I'm uh, real thankful. And um, just knowing that, uh, you know, my, my why is a lot bigger than me, so. Amen to that. You know, if, if everybody can, can only feel that way about their business, because it isn't about you, it's about the people that you're helping. I mean, mm -hmm. have that kind of attitude, you give a number one service. And that's why and how you get your repeat business from all of these people. When Brian Buffini is saying, do the Popeyes, say hello to these people, become their friends, get to know them as a person and not as a paycheck. That's when things start turning around for you because you're giving of yourself and not taking from the other person. When you have that kind of attitude, you always win the game. Um, you know, I appreciate everybody on this call. I talk more than I usually do, but I'm very passionate about this subject. All right, well, thank you again, Brooks, um, for a great topic. And thank you for everybody for sharing your thoughts and comments. Yeah, Bobby, Bobby Stevens. Just a really quick one off subject a little bit. We've got the 4th of July coming up and I want to thank uh, Brent for his service and any other veterans that are on this call today. Thank you. Yep. Hoorah. Hoorah. Thank Amen. you, Bob. <laughs> All righty, guys. Thank we'll talk um, to you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you again for getting on the call quickly. I just wanted to add in, um, you know, I am going to be sending out a schedule for the agent videos. If any of you guys have interest in getting one of those done, please reach out to me. Those are going to start the week of July 12th through the 16th. And then we're also going to do July 19th through the 23rd. If there's a day within those weeks that works best for you, um, shoot me an email and I'll reserve that date for you. Uh, and as soon as I get a schedule narrowed down with the videographer, I will send that out. And um, also a list of kind of scripted questions that you guys can answer and think about how you want to answer appropriately.